tip we're going to show how to make a bottoming tap out of a normal tap. Bottoming taps are kind of rare uh, for your normal hardware store and stuff like that. And a bottoming tap basically doesn't have the tapered point on it. Uh, it allows you to get into, like if you've got a hole that doesn't pass all the way through something, a bottoming tap lets you get threads almost all the way to the bottom, whereas one of these taps it's tapered so you it's easier to start the, the threading, start threading the hole with, but it has all that space there uh, that you don't have viable threads being used at the bottom of a hole because you bottom out. And where that really comes into play is places like uh, barrels, like say that you're putting a uh, hole on top of a barrel for a rail or something like that. You need all the threads you can get because you can't go deeper to compensate for this because you'll get into your bore. So, chuck your bottom your tap, rig your tap into uh, your drill. Doesn't have to be real tight or anything. And grind. see here I'll compare for you this is the exact same tap beside it you see how we're we've got the point gone and now the the first two runs of threads there are still a, got a little taper to them we're going to remove the next we're going to remove this next thread here. Let me get focused for you guys. I'm sorry. We're going to remove the next thread. Come down one more. for all of your anything that you may have to use a bottoming tap for you want two taps you want one of these a normal and a bottoming tap that way you can start your threads with this guy and then switch to the bottoming tap once you have some threads in because it's hard to start threads with a bottoming tap and uh, there's your tip <laughs> 